Students, good morning. Today, I am going to take Rickard Agrawala mutual expression algorithm. Just to see the steps of Rickard Agrawala algorithm. Now, I will explain how this algorithm works. Here, the request are sent in a multicast and, and in FIFO order to all other processes. Request with lower timestamps are granted permission earlier. No token is used in this algorithm. So previously we have seen uh, Suzuki Kasami algorithm, in that algorithm we have used tokens. But here in this algorithm, we are not using any token. The waiting time to enter the kitting section is lower than ring-based algorithms. Process IDs are used to break the ties. That is stalemates because if two different processes request for request with same timestamp values, then we have to use IDs to break their ties. Message passing. It is a uh, mechanism used here to implement the mutual exclusion. And uh, message passing uh, it can be implemented in three ways: there are token based, non-token based, and param based. Suzuki Kasami Parkash algorithm is an example for token based, and Rigan Agrawal is an example for non token based algorithm, and Mekawa algorithm is an example for quorum based. Here, TS is the current lamp time timestamp, and PID is the process ID. The center can enter the kitty section only if all other processes running in the distributed system should send replay to that is n minus 1 responses it should receive. Example, if there are three processes are running, the sender should receive three minus one, two. So it should receive two reply messages from messages, then only it will be able to enter into the critical sections. So if process B1 sends a request, then process P2 and P3 should send reply, to mes uh, reply message to P1. If P2 sends a request, then P1 and P3 should send reply to P2. And similarly, if if P3 sends a request, then the process P1 and P2 should send reply to the process P3. Now, process P3 wants to enter the getting section. First, it has to set its states to wanted and then sends Lambert timestamp request in multicast manner to process P2 and P3 with its own process ID. Here, TS1 and PID3 are timestamp and process IDs. Meanwhile, process P1 also wants to enter the critical section. So it sets its states to wanted and sends timestamp request to P2 and P3 with the process ID. Here, TS2 and process ID, PID1 is the process ID of the process P1. Q. All processes are made in its own queue. Here are three processes, P1, P2, P3. And so there are three queues, Q1, Q2, and Q3. And the timestamp value is TS1, TS2, process ID is 3, 1, 1 are in the queue. The process we have made in its own queue, Q1, two timestamps, TS1, TS2. And PID3 and PID1 are ID of process, uh, process P3 and P1. Similarly, P2 and P3 also manage its own Q, Q2 and Q3. Now, the process P2 sends a reply to P1 and P3, say that it does not want to enter into the critical section. Neither it is not in the critical section already in critical section and also not requesting critical section. It is not interested. It doesn't want to enter the critical section. So it sent reply to the process P1 and P3, not requesting critical section. Since P1 already received request on P3, it checks its own queue. In the, in the queue, there are two timestamps, TS1, TS2. And we take the timestamp value TS1. It is, it is a timestamp of process P3, and it is smaller 
and has the highest priority than TS2. So P1 is because it's deferred now. Deferred means postponed. Its request is postponed. And since it request is postponed, it has to send reply to P3. Now P3 has received two reply messages from P1 and P2. That is, it received n minus one reply messages. See, totally there are three messages, three processes are running. So three minus one, two. So the sender P3 has to receive two reply messages. Here it received two reply messages, one from P1 and another from P2. P2 request is P2 reply is not requesting CS. And P1 send reply to process P3 since it request has been deferred. Anyway, process P3 received two reply messages. So P3 changes its states to hell and enter into the critical session as shown in the diagram. Since it has received two reply messages, it changes its states to held, held in critical section and so enter into the critical session. State, it changes states to held. See the diagram, you can understand. After exiting from critical section, P3 changes its state to released and send replace to deferred processes. How many deferred processes are here? Only one process, P1. So the process P3, after exiting from critical section, the P, process P3 send replay to deferred process P1. Now process P1 received replay from two processes P2 and P3, that is N minus one process. So now P1 also received two replay messages, replay messages from P2 and P3. P2 message, replay message is not Requesting say yes. Now P3 send replies to reply message to P1 because it exiting from critical section. Anyway, process P1 also received two reply messages. And since it has received two reply messages, it will be able to enter into the critical section. So P1 can change its states to health and enters into the critical section as shown in the diagram. So since the process V1 entered the critical section, it will be able to access the resource. So in this way, all the processes are entered into the critical section to access the resource. So process V1 will remain in critical section until all until other process request the critical section. Now see the message complexity. Record Agrawala algorithm requests invocation of two into n minus one messages per critical section. So these two into n minus one message involves n minus one request message. So if three processes are running, so how many request messages can be sent? Three uh, n minus one. Similarly, the sender should receive n minus one reply messages. So two into n minus one messages will be sent in the uh, system. So that is a complexity. Worst case, what's the worst case? The sender has to wait for n minus one reply messages from uh, reply messages. Okay, so that is the worst case. It has to wait. The process has to wait for n minus one reply messages. Then only it will be able to enter into the critical section. And here in record uh, record Agrawal algorithm, synchronization delay is low, but at the same time the bandwidth consumption is high. Thank you for watching this presentation.